Stephen Curry learns life lessons from James Corden on carpool karaoke. It turns out Stephen Curry is good at everything, not just basketball. The Golden State Warriors shooter appeared on the Late Late Show Monday to seek help from host James Corden. What type of help, you might ask? Life help. Steph turned to the British late night host to pick up some life lessons. After hopping in the car, James said the best place to learn is the golf course, so naturally they drove to dot 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 a miniature golf course. Today I'm going to pick him up, whisper some wisdom and send him on his way, James told the cameras. Of course, the late late show host's methods were slightly unconventional. With a golf ball teed up up in James' mouth. Steph prepared to whack the ball until his mentor realized it probably wasn't the best idea. And he's the one giving the lessons. Even though they were having a blast, the NBA star only took away one lesson, how to waste a perfectly good afternoon. The Into the Woods actor also advised the athlete to toughen up, on and off the court. James started yelling at random passers-by, which baffled Steph. I thought British people were supposed to be nice, Steph quipped. You filter your feed and I'll be the bad boy around here, James responded, referencing Steph's partnership with Brita. Eventually the duo moved on to air hockey, rock, paper scissors, and others games, leading James to realize that Steph's talented at everything. He's amazing, he noted. I hate him. But then Steph asked to do a little carpool karaoke. I really only do it with singers, Corden explained to the cameras. Look everyone thinks they can carpool karaoke. Everyone thinks they have what it takes. He's got to show me. He's got to earn the right to do it. I made Adele audition for weeks. This, obviously, was James' chance to outshine Steph. They warmed up with basic routines, such as repeating Benedict Cumberbatch and Zaza Pachuya, Steph's teammate. Then, they launched into famous Disney songs, which they both know very well because of their kids. The duo started off with Mona's How Far I'll Go and ended with Frozen's Love is an Open Door. Watch the video to see just how good Steph is at everything.